I have a story about Alaska, our our cousins to the north. <clears throat> so, <laughs> marijuana moment reports. Alaska House passes marijuana tax reform bill. Great news. The cannabis levy would be Alaska's first ever statewide sales tax. A, a decade after Alaska voters legalized recreational marijuana, the Alaska legislature is advancing the first major change to the law that opened commercial sales here. On Friday, the Alaska House of Representatives voted to change the state's $50 per ounce marijuana tax to a 7% sales tax. If House Bill 119 is accepted by the state, uh, the, by the Senate and the Governor Mike Dunleavy, Republican, it would impose Alaska's first statewide sales tax. That pioneering concept troubled some legislators, but the bill still passed the House by a 36 to 3 vote. The tax change was recommended by the state's Recreational Marijuana Task Force, which Dunleavy convened in 2022 to analyze the marijuana industry and determine whether aspects of the industry's enabling law passed by voters in 2014 should be changed. Ten years ago, Alaska joined Oregon as the third and fourth states to legalize recreational marijuana use. Since then, many other states have followed suit. But Alaska's marijuana tax, levied at the wholesale level, is the highest in the country, which is hard to believe. In addition, there are signs that the tax structure is counterproductive. The $50 per ounce tax applies only to the regular bud or flower. There are lower taxes for flawed buds or for trimmed cut marijuana buds. And the producers have shifted towards the those lower tax products. Interesting. The state the task force's original recommendation was a 3% sales tax, but bill supporter Rep Jesse Sumner, a represent uh, a Republican from Wasilla, said he believed that the figure was too low and would not get legislative support. He proposed a 10% tax that was later lowered to 6%. On the House floor, that, that, that was raised by the amendment to 7%. Sumner said he believes the higher figure may, have, may make the bill more attractive to the state Senate, which must vote on the bill before it can advance to the governor's desk. Ryan Tunseth, Tunseth president of the Alaska Marijuana Industry Association, or a trade group, she, uh, said he was excited to see the bill passed at the House, even with the tax rate higher than preferred by the industry. He said he intends to pull marijuana businesses over the weekend to get their impressions, and he hopes that the final versions of the bill will also include other task force recommendations, including changes to plant tracking and licensing. Uh, that's the story from Marijuana Moment today. So that's uh, you know interesting news. Uh, obviously, we know there's a there's a, a big discrepancy between tax structures from state to state. We see it in California, very high taxes here um, on the retailers uh, for all cannabis products, and this is um, some good news. So shout out to our homies in Alaska, Red River Farms and Red River Extraction or Red Run, sorry, and. Uh, you know, good for you guys. Hopefully this will help bring the quality up because it's interesting that they say that they have a lower tax rate for like trim and for like low, like smalls and, and just like not as good of product. So uh, hopefully people start getting some better product due to this change. What do you guys have to say about this? This is Saman Rizani. I, I mean, it, I, I mean, wouldn't everybody just say that they're, they're buying low grade product up there just so they could take advantage of the lower tax rate? I I mean, I want to know what, what constitutes the lower. Yeah, grade yeah, yeah. How how are uh, they how are they decide? I'm I'm willing to bet that it's something as simple as that. It's on the operators to determine. Well, that's great. Yeah, then then absolutely, that's what they're doing. Hopefully, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. is you know in in Nevada, um, the TB likes uh, the labs to make that determination, and we're like. I can't determine what this guy's stuff is on the pickup side. They have to decide whether it's trim or popcorn bud or flour, yeah. not me, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm, we're, we're picking I mean, up what we're picking up. You know I, what I mean? And yeah, but I, I feel like us to do that. I, I, I feel. But like they base their here, here. Here's what they do. They base their decision on the picture we take. Right? Mm -hmm. So if it's a big bud, then it's considered flour. If it's you know little tiny buds, it's considered popcorn. And if it's you know, it looks like trim, it's trim. I mean, I'm not necessarily mad, mad, mad at that. 
um, uh, as far as, as 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 a method of how of how of how they do it. And I and I and I'm not necessarily even mad about having the 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 um the testing lab uh, be the arbiter uh, to determine to determine what 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 price category that would fall under. I'm I'm not I'm not mad at that. I am, you know, why, why, well, that's because that's more work for oh. you to do that you don't charge for. Oh, no, 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 no. It has nothing to do with that. It has, you know, oh, suddenly we have to make the decision what the customer has to sell their shit for. Well, you have right? no, 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 that. no, that's not that. That, that, that. Basically, they're saying what, what category is it going to be taxed at? But that's, that's I essential. understand that. Well, that's that's how they get it tested, also, because it's uh, you know in California it's every fifty pounds, right? Here in Nevada, every every five pounds of flour wow. and every fifteen pounds of trim mm-hmm. wow. has to be tested. So they all want it tested as trim, right? But <clears throat> you know they can't, yeah, because uh, and the taxes are lower. Yep, I True. mean. I mean, you could just have have uh, have your guys test, you know, take pictures of all the trim and just submit all those pictures and say. Then they can never the sell blood. flour because it'll say trim on the COA. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'll be like I'm buying trim. No, no, I'm just gonna advertise <laughs> it as trim bud. <laughs> all right. This is, nice. this is a fancy score per usual. That's, yeah. that's 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 all you got to do right there. Yeah, look, I think anytime you can lower taxes on any state in any place. It sets another precedent for other states to follow suit because we all know we're overregulated, we're overtaxed, overtaxed. out of control. Mm-hmm. It's hard for anybody to make any money in this industry um, because of those reasons. Mm-hmm. And, isn't, uh, it, isn't it ironic that when they try to fix the tax problem, they create a bigger, more, 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 you know, lucrative problem for themselves, and uh, we have to suffer the consequences, especially in California. I mean, this, this is. I mean, I personally thought that California was one of the highest tax rates, excise tax rates in the country. But, you know, obviously there's there's others that do things a little differently. Um, What do you guys think? Taxes nationwide. Taxes nationwide last month hit the 20 billion dollar mark. Wow. Billion dollars in taxes have been collected in Nevada. The only one making money. No, not Nevada in the country. Per billion cap- dollars has gone to local oh, yeah, governments. Yeah, 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 yeah. We covered how that. How we covered that. How many? Yeah, are yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. and they're yeah. the only ones making money. Yeah, we were talking- are the local other local cities and towns and yeah. governments? And and don't forget the lawyers. Yeah, I, and the lawyers. I want, yeah, I want I want to give a shout. Out. I want to give a shout out to to Charlo Green, aka. Yeah, aka Coco Kwan now. Oh boy, remember uh, Charlo Green? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was she was the Alaska newscaster when she when she oh. uh, got fired off the news station. When she said, "Fuck it, I quit." I'm gonna Yeah, she marijuana. didn't get fired. She quit. She t- she, she, she took straight up said, "I quit." Yeah, she took the fall there when she was outed at. Yeah. She took the fall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're gonna fire her because she in and was out. pro Rico. cannabis and yeah. actually owned a cannabis company when right. they were going through the legalization. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. Fair this enough. This court is racist yeah. today. I'll tell you that much. I don't know, bro. It's probably it was awesome. I met her I in uh, in New York. I'll tell you that much, Charlo. I, I don't know. I don't think you should, you're blaming oh, Discord. Yeah. I think it's your internet. I don't touch a damn thing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's all y'all's internet. You got to plug in. Yeah, exactly. You got to plug in. Exactly. You can hard, hard line that. 